Hi, welcome to another helicopter training video. Uh, in this one we're going to look at uh, just a quick video looking at torque. This is another in the basic aerodynamics series. To start talking about torque, we first need to talk about Sir Isaac Newton and his third law of motion. He said, to every action there is always an equal and opposite reaction. And a, a good example of that is if you fire a handgun, the bullet being fired out, being propelled out of the chamber, the reaction to that, the equal and opposite reaction, is the recoil that you feel in the handgun. So how do we apply this to helicopters? Well first of all let's just look at a traditional or conventional helicopter like the R22 that has a single main rotor. Now looking down upon this helicopter and you can see uh, in the Robinson helicopters the main rotor spins counterclockwise or anticlockwise when viewed from above. So you can see that arrow showing the direction of the blade travel. Now the engine is pushing that blade through the transmission to make that motion and there is a reaction called the torque reaction which moves in the opposite direction so this is what wants to make the helicopter body, fuselage, engine and transmission move in the opposite direction that's the torque reaction that's the equal and opposite reaction to the movement of the blades now if we didn't do anything else, if we didn't have a tail rotor for example, any way to counter this this would result in the helicopter body spinning in the opposite direction to the way the blades are spinning. If ever you've seen an accident video where the tail rotor has been lost on a helicopter, that's pretty much what they end up doing. Black Hawk down, that kind of stuff. So in a traditional or conventional helicopter system, the way this is countered is with something called an anti-torque system or a tail rotor in this case. And the tail rotor is producing thrust which is opposing the direction of the torque reaction. So we have the blades spinning counterclockwise when viewed from above, which is the green arrow. The body of the helicopter wants to move in the opposite direction, which is the red arrow, but is countered by the tail rotor thrust produced by the tail rotor. The actual amount of torque is directly related to the amount of engine power being used to turn the main rotors. So as the engine supplies more power, the tail rotor must produce more thrust to counter that uh, increased torque effect. So remember, as you increase or decrease power, torque changes and therefore you must put changes in with the anti-torque pedals to the different amount of uh, tail rotor thrust that's required. The vertical fin on the tail of the helicopter also provides limited anti-torque within certain airspeed ranges. In this video, you'll see the helicopter picking up. As the helicopter is picking up, more power is being added and therefore more uh, torque reactions being added to the fuselage as the aircraft becomes light on the skids there isn't enough tail thrust to stop the aircraft fuselage twisting as it picks up the pilot then puts in more tail rotor thrust to counter that and hold a steady heading you'll then see how the helicopter can yaw left and right by a combination of increased or decreased tail rotor thrust and anti-torque, sorry, and torque reaction. So here you'll see that the tail rotor thrust is reduced, letting the torque reaction take over to start to spin the helicopter one way. And here you see the tail rotor thrust is increased, overcoming the torque reaction and allowing the helicopter to yaw to the left. Now we were just looking at traditional or conventional rotor systems there in, a, in an R22, but there are other rotor systems that don't require a tail rotor or an anti-torque system because the two main rotors themselves count out each other's torque by turning in opposite directions in equal amounts. Okay, for more information you can read up in the Helicopter Flying Handbook by the FAA if you look under the Aerodynamics of Flight section. You can check out the ASA uh, Helicopter Oil Exam Guide and the Private Test Prep Guides for the aerodynamics sections. We've also got a couple of other videos that are related to this. One is the main rotor configurations video. There's a link below for that. And the other one is the anti-torque systems video which goes into more detail about the different types of anti-torque system. As usual we look forward to any of your feedback, any of your questions and we'll see you again next time.